Montana rancher Lance Wallowine spots two full-grown whitetail bucks helpless and hooked in a neighbor's field. And I saw a deer standing up with its head down like it was eating something. And I thought that was kind of unusual because it didn't run away from me. And so I walked up there and there was another one laying on the ground and its antlers were tangled up. Lance enlists his whole family in a rescue mission. His dad, Mike, Mike's daughters, Jesse and Jamie, and Jamie's boyfriend, Steve, all head for the field. As soon as we got there, they jumped up again and, and started uh, fighting one another and, and falling through barbed wire fences and cutting themselves on the barbs. So we started chasing them on foot. The deer lead the family on a wild pursuit, the length of a football field. It was actually very surprising. They could run as about as fast as we can tangled up. And they were going around in circles and running sideways. Then they careen right into a hedgerow. One of the deer trips, causing the second deer to somersault over the top of him. Right here, the deer actually tripped up and went down, and I and I got right in there and jumped on the one on the right, and I talked Steve into coming and getting on this other one. Mike grabs one set of antlers, and Steve takes hold of the other, and they try to pry the animals apart. It was crazy. It was like they were welded together. And the rescuers discover something else. While locking antlers, the bucks stabbed each other. One antler was inside the mouth of the other deer, actually through its tongue. It didn't go through the lower jaw, but it had it pressed really hard. And that deer, all it could do is lay there with its mouth open with that antler. And the other deer had an antler stuck in its face below its eye, and it was bleeding pretty bad. This family obviously probably didn't have access to dart guns and, and chemicals to, to drug the animals. In many cases, you have to actually cut the antlers off, um, which, which takes more time. It's more stressful on the animals. But the wallowines have nothing but their wits and their bare hands. My main fear was not getting kicked by the deer, but I was afraid of was the antlers, because there's a lot of points on them. Every year, bucks grow a new set of antlers. They start out soft and spongy and covered with a furry skin called velvet. As the velvet sheds, the antlers calcify and become hard as bone. But Mike and Steve pull so hard on the locked antlers, one of the points snaps off. And right here, the antlers unlock. I got the one side out of the mouth and I looked at the other side and I could see it and it was gonna come pretty quickly. I hesitated there a while and I told Lance and Jesse to be ready to get off of that deer when I get that side unhooked. Ready to go. As soon as I got that other side unhooked, that deer jumped up and just took off as fast as it could. The other deer, the one I was sitting on, I got off of that one and expected it to leave, but it did not. It, it just laid there real quiet. Jamie Wallowine shooting the video is very concerned. He had the horn that went through his tongue, and he was just laying there on the ground, and we're wondering maybe he wasn't going to make it. But Mike isn't about to give up. And then he just kind of rolls it with his foot just to see if it was all right, and then it got up and ran away. Both deer get away, and they seem OK. Knowing that we were able to help them and nobody got hurt and the deer were fine was a good feeling for me. 